Welcome to our channel. Today, we're addressing a pressing health issue that affects millions of lives worldwide lung cancer. Let's start with some eye opening statistics to underscore the importance of this topic. Each year, approximately 3.2 million people are diagnosed with lung cancer, and sadly, it claims the lives of over 2.4 million individuals. It's crucial to understand the impact of this disease and what we can do to change these numbers. So, why is lung cancer so prevalent, and what are the underlying reasons behind it? The answer is complex, but we'll break it down. Firstly, tobacco use, primarily smoking, is the leading cause of lung cancer. Smoking exposes the lungs to harmful chemicals, increasing the risk significantly. Secondly, exposure to radon gas, a naturally occurring radioactive gas, is another major risk factor. It can enter homes and buildings, leading to lung cancer over time. And thirdly, the rise in air pollution is a growing concern. Polluted air contains carcinogens that can damage lung tissue and contribute to the development of cancer. Now, you might be wondering, how can I reduce my chances of getting lung cancer? That's precisely what we'll explore in this video. We'll focus on three key factors that can make a substantial difference in your lung health. Let's start with the top cause of lung cancer, smoking. Smoking is the primary cause of lung cancer for two main reasons. Firstly, cigarettes contain over 7,000 chemical compounds including more than 250 harmful substances and at least 69 carcinogens. When these compounds are inhaled into the lungs, they create conditions conducive to the development of cancerous cells. Secondly, the harmful particles and compounds in cigarette smoke have the potential to cause inflammation and damage to lung tissues, creating an ideal environment for the growth of cancerous tumors. Quitting smoking can be a beneficial decision for your health. Here are some ways to help you quit. Build strong determination. Determination is the most crucial factor in quitting smoking. Understand why you want to quit and make a strong commitment to yourself. Seek support. Talk to your family, friends, or healthcare professionals about your decision and ask for their support during the quitting process. Replace cigarettes. Use nicotine replacement products like nicotine gum or lozenges to reduce withdrawal symptoms. Identify and avoid triggers. Recognize situations or places where you usually smoke and stay away from them or replace them with different activities. Join support programs. There are many support programs and sharing groups that allow you to connect with people who have similar goals. Use apps and resources. Numerous mobile apps and online resources can help you track your progress and stay motivated. Try stress reduction techniques. Smoking is often used as a stress reliever, so try relaxation techniques like meditation, yoga, or exercise to manage stress instead of smoking. Choose a quitting method. There are various quitting methods, such as gradually reducing consumption, quitting abruptly, or transitioning to alternative products before quitting entirely. Seek healthcare professionals. If you encounter difficulties or need professional support, seek assistance from a doctor or a therapist. Celebrate successes, record and celebrate every small success during the quitting process to boost your motivation. Quitting smoking may be challenging, but it is entirely achievable and highly beneficial for your health. Remember that people around you can provide support during this journey, and the decision to quit smoking will bring significant benefits to you and your loved ones. Let's move on to the second biggest cause of these suffocating deaths, radon. Radon is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless radioactive gas that is naturally occurring. It is formed from the decay of uranium, which can be found in various types of soil and rocks. Radon can enter homes and buildings through cracks in the foundation, gaps in walls, and even through well water. 
The presence of radon in your home can pose serious health risks, as it is the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. When radon gas is inhaled, it can release tiny radioactive particles that can damage lung tissue and increase the risk of lung cancer over time. To check for and mitigate radon levels in your home, you can take the following steps. Radon testing. Use radon testing kits, which are readily available in hardware stores, or consider hiring a professional radon testing service. Testing is typically done in the lowest occupied level of your home, like the basement. Radon mitigation. If elevated radon levels are detected, it's crucial to take action. Radon mitigation systems can be installed to reduce radon gas concentrations. These systems typically involve venting the gas from beneath your home and safely releasing it into the outdoor air. Seal cracks and openings. Seal any cracks or openings in your home's foundation, walls, and floors to prevent radon from entering. This can help reduce radon levels. Well water testing. If you use well water, consider testing it for radon, as radon can also be present in groundwater. Radon in water can be released into the air when you use water for activities like showering or washing dishes. By being aware of radon and taking proactive steps to test and mitigate its levels in your home, you can significantly reduce the risk it poses to your health and ensure a safer living environment. The third is a serious concern worldwide air pollution. Air pollution is a serious concern for both human health and the environment. In urban areas, air pollution is often caused by factors such as dust, vehicle emissions, and harmful substances released from factories and industries. Air pollution can lead to significant health issues, including respiratory diseases, cardiovascular problems, and even cancer. Here are some strategies to protect yourself from air pollution, even in urban areas. Use face masks. On days with poor air quality, especially in heavily polluted cities, use face masks to protect your respiratory system from dust particles and harmful substances. Monitor air quality. Utilize apps and websites that monitor air quality to stay informed about when it's advisable to limit outdoor activities, especially for children and the elderly. Weather awareness. Consider staying indoors on days with high air pollution levels and try to restrict outdoor activities during such times. Indoor air filtration. Use indoor air purifiers to remove dust particles and harmful substances particularly in areas with high pollution levels. Reduce car usage, opt for public transportation, cycling, or walking whenever possible to reduce vehicle emissions and their contribution to air pollution. Support clean energy, advocate for and support clean energy initiatives to reduce air pollution from fossil fuel sources. Protecting your health from air pollution requires awareness and individual action. By following these protective strategies, you can minimize the impact of air pollution on your health and enhance your overall quality of life, even in urban environments. We have discussed the primary causes of lung cancer, from smoking to radon and air pollution. However, the most important thing to remember is that your health is paramount, and you have the right and ability to protect it. Consider making lifestyle changes if you are a smoker. Test the radon levels in your home and take mitigation measures if necessary. Always be mindful of the air quality around you and take appropriate protective measures. I want to encourage everyone to take steps to protect their health from the risk of lung cancer. Support each other and spread the message of health awareness and environmental consciousness. Let's work together to create a cleaner and safer environment for all of us and for future generations. Thank you for watching this video, and please share this message with your friends and family. Together, we can make the world healthier and more sustainable.